Good morning, church. Um, it's good to, to be with you again this way this morning. I um, had just a great prayer time last night. I hope you were there. Um, if you missed that, I just encourage you next Thursday we're going to be gathering together again. Um, reminded of God's faithfulness yesterday out chipping the ice as the melting snow is flooding my sidewalk. And you even saw some geese coming back. And uh, just seeing the Lord's faithfulness in the turning of seasons. Uh, uh, his, his faithfulness there, um, so consistent. He never fails. Um, I want to encourage you this morning, Psalm 119. Um, David says, um, verse 67, Before I was afflicted, I went astray, but now I keep your word. You are good and you do good. Teach me your statutes. Um, there's so much there um, in, in the way the Lord works in our lives. Um, before I was afflicted, I went astray. Uh, ease and comfort are a dangerous trial. Uh, we don't see it. it it's, so, um, it's so insidious in our lives, but it's a dangerous place to be. Our hearts latch on to the things of this world. We get comfortable here in ways that we should not. Um, we begin to rely on ourselves, and we grow in, in pride. And, uh, and, and so David recognizes that in hindsight, before I was afflicted, uh, I went astray. God, I didn't, I didn't follow you as I should. I wasn't clinging to you as I should have. Uh, but now I keep your word. Uh, as David goes through trials and hardships, and he went through significant trials and hardships, um, it brings him back to the Lord. Uh, times of hardship are uh, often a test of faith. Um, and, and as the Puritans used to say, the same sun that hardens the clay melts the ice. And uh, and that's what happens here. Um, and, and, and there are some who go through hardship and they will become bitter. Uh, and they will um, they will be they, they, they will start to be angry at God. But the true child of God, though he may wrestle, though she may struggle with that will in time, um, be drawn closer to the Lord, uh, will be refined by it and, and it will become a approving of faith uh, as we learn to walk closer with him as he grows us through it. Uh, and so um, Charles Spurgeon said, I've learned to kiss the wave that throws me against the rock of my salvation. What a, what a beautiful thing. Um, not, that, um, not that the wave is good, not that the trial um, is not evil and burdensome, uh, but we look at what it produces in us, and uh, and we learn um, to to embrace the trial that builds us up in our faith. And and so, uh, verse sixty eight, he's even able to say, "Lord, you are good, and you do good. Teach me your statutes. Whatever comes, God is good, and He does good. Uh, and so we want um, more." Um, Lord, Lord, whatever it is, I trust in your goodness, uh, the goodness of who you are and the goodness of what you do. Uh, so teach me. Draw me closer. Uh, I hope that's your heart this morning as we continue to journey through this, this time of uh, upheaval. And I think we are um, on the cusp of some coming hardships. Um, but let's have that heart, seeing um, the Lord's faithfulness through affliction and saying, okay, Lord, you are good and you do good. So teach me your statutes, whatever it takes, Lord, um, we trust you. I'm praying for you, church, uh, great hope for what the Lord is doing uh, in you, even today. You are loved.